When I started researching uh, baby rhinos and orphaned rhinos, I originally thought that we'd try to use a real baby rhino. And I realized a couple of things. One was that the only baby rhinos that you can use are orphans, because if it's with his mother, you're not gonna get, you're not gonna be able to work with. And, and orphan baby rhinos are, are traumatized. They're tragic little characters, apart from which it's very difficult working with them. So those were the reasons why we didn't use a, a real baby rhino at all. We used um, a prosthetics guy, Yako, um, and his company is Dreamsmith, who's right at the top of his field. Yeah, Yaku from Dreamsmith is just, is just a total perfectionist. He just stuck to his gut and said, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna perfect this, and he did. So that side of, of the character, Rani, works exceptionally well. It's difficult working with a puppet because you need to bring it to life and it's a very small, static thing that you need to now you know, bring this big life out of it. I had to get acquainted with the puppeteers so that when I react to Rhiney in a certain way, they would have to know what the actor would do at a certain time, how I would move. We'd have to find a way so that even in my performance, it doesn't look like I'm waiting for the puppet to move a certain way. And here this team built us three puppets, one of which was just from, from here up, and it was puppeteered by three puppeteers. At some point, the puppeteers had to squeeze themselves in to like different positions. One of whom had his both arms right inside the rhino's head. And then there was one, one step back and another one right behind that. There were no electronics involved. It was all done physically with levers and stuff. He could blink, his eyeballs could move, his jaw could move, his head could move and his ears could move. Having to work with, with all of those elements, it was pretty cool, but also a bit challenging. It was a very expressive puppet. Then we had a, a second one, which had all its legs and what have you, which was only stationary. So we used that mainly as a, a point of reference. And then we had a third one, which was flexible. It couldn't move on screen, but we could set it in a sit or a lie. But the beautiful thing about how they brought the, the, the prosthetics together is that it felt so real. And those guys were fabulous. And, and, and the, the attention to detail, you cannot tell that it's not real, that, uh, that, that puppet.